This week's Foraitis boat is something very special. It's a 1966 Chris Craft Constellation, something that I selfishly have always wanted to have a look at. Even at a half century old, its lines and style are timeless. This particular boat has only had three owners, ever, and each one has cared for it like the beauty it is. While not treating it like a showpiece, this boat has been well used and well loved, but it still looks great. Much of it remains original, a testament to how well built Chris Crafts are. Providing you have an owner who keeps it up, these can be a great find on the used market and can last for a long time. There are some custom touches though. The little wooden table at the bow is built to match, but it was made from an old piano by the current owner. In the cockpit, there's a wooden shelf and drawer and speaker boxes that all match the look, but they too were recent additions. There are some upgrades that were made over the years, like new flooring and countertop, but the bulk of this constellation is original, including the twin 427 Ford big block engines. Here in the master stateroom in the aft cabin, underneath each one of these beds is a fuel tank, and that speaks to Chris Craft's clever design. There's no dead space, instead they worked it in to a full beam, plenty of headroom, master cabin. It's 40 feet long, but has the space of a much larger boat. In addition to the aft cabin, there's the salon midship, with big windows all around the spacious galley. Ahead is the head, on the port side. At the bow is a V-berth. As is, it's not the most comfortable sleeping arrangement out there, but you could upgrade the mattress easily enough. Underway, thanks to a deep and pronounced keel, the Constellation maneuvers at slow speed very well. And even with those original engines, it seems to run quite well too. No problem starting and no coughing or sputtering when giving it a little throttle. And it's usually around here that'll give you the performance specs, the acceleration and the top speed, but I can't give you that because I don't know it. The owner of this boat has never himself pushed it to full throttle because the engines are 50 years old and what's the point? This isn't a speed demon, that's not why you're buying it. The boat usually cruises around 10 knots and we pushed it to a whopping 15 knots, but it was still quite a joy. If this boat looks familiar, it's because you would have seen it a few episodes ago at the Chris Craft Rendezvous. Seeing how good this looked and hearing how well it ran, we couldn't pass up an opportunity to take this out for a better look. And I'm very glad the owner agreed. Being at the helm and underway of the 1966 Chris Craft Constellation is something else. Now on the one hand, you could say there's a bunch of negatives. The sight lines aren't as good as anything you'll find on a newer boat. The handling isn't as responsive as something you'll find on a newer boat. And as far as the top speed goes, well I can't tell you what that is because the owner of this boat himself has never pushed it because he doesn't want to push the original engines too hard. But that's not why you buy something like this. You're not buying the Constellation because you want a speed demon, or you want the sight lines, or you want all of the gadgets and joystick docking. Driving this 1966 Chris Craft Constellation is something pretty special. And I don't know if I'm giving this back. <laughs>